This is a very light one. It's elegant. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a wonderful, rare, expensive bottle here on my cask and it's one of the, well, the brands which sell most often in the United States. So this one is a Dewar's. Uh, few of you will have ever seen that bottle. It's a Dewar's signature. Uh, what is that? Uh, well, this is a, uh, a very special, a very rare and expensive bottle. I said that, haven't I? Yes. Um, and just the outside of this wonderful glossy box with a uh, hardwood uh, mahogany style. I don't think that it's mahogany. Uh, just gives an impression of what comes uh, inside this box. Here we go. Bottle, a leaflet. This is a wonderful present. your special ones. <clears throat> the bottle is wonderfully made. It's uh, very, very different to the standard Dewar's uh, with a thick bottom with engravements and uh, well, and the Royal Verand on top of the cork. So this is a wonderful, it's uh, individual numbered R18,533. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's have a look at this paper and then I will tell you something of the background of this bottle. In appointment to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. So this is no variant uh, of former queens and kings. Uh, this is an actual variant. Your signal blended Scotch whiskey. So we talk about a blended whiskey. So there is malt whiskey from several distilleries in this, and there are grain whiskies in this as well. How old is this whiskey? Well, from the legally state uh, point, it's uh, three years and a day. There might be young whiskies also in this bottle to give it more uh, power, more impression. Uh, but typically in those really expensive bottles. There are also very old ones in it. And uh, well, we come to the distillery uh, with the lead malt soon. We spend over 160 years perfecting the whiskey in your hands. We blend your signature using the rarest of rare whiskies from across Scotland and return it to vintage oak casks to age for a second time. This is the marrying process which you have uh, with blended whiskies. Oh no, not with the mega sellers uh, which stand on the shelves of the supermarkets. No, um, this is for the really rare ones. So you put it together and let them mature for a longer time so that the, well, the compounds can firstly intermix and secondly, uh, well, interact uh, to give better aromas. We do this because we believe this extra step of double aging is the secret to exceptional smoothness and lingering finish. <clears throat> Tasting notes, honeyed rich toffee and velvet. Oh, that's short. <laughs> Honey, rich toffee and velvet. That's it. Um, uh, this whiskey is from the House of Dewar's and uh, the House of Dewar's was founded in 1846. I think I said a lot of that to the Dewar's white label, but important things again. Um, and they founded, I think in 1896 or 1894, uh, the House of Dewar's for uh, spreading their blends. And for this, they built in 1896 the distillery Aberfeldy, where I had several whiskies already from. And the 21 years old is, well, 
probably one of the major parts in this signature whiskey. In 1896, when the distillery was founded, uh, they also started to spread the whiskey worldwide in a tour around the globe. And whoever is first in a market will gain it, will win. And so the Dewars won, and as well as other companies as the Hakes and the Walkers, they also spread their whiskey worldwide quite early. And so this, uh, the winner takes it all, uh, the, the first takes it all, and the winners are. Uh, <clears throat> so they are the market leaders in the US. Um, in 1925, the Dewars, House of Dewars, came with different others to the DCL, the Distillers Company Limited, and they uh, grew and grew uh, organically and through uh, acquisitions to the United Distillers. And then they were bought in 1986 by the Guinness, the Irish Guinness Group, and they formed together the Diageo Company. They, they bought independent vintners. Yeah, independent distillers and vintners, I think, yes. And with all this together, the today Diageo, uh, the biggest whiskey producer in the world, um, appeared on the market, was founded, and then the watchdog said, well, you're too big. Hmm. And then they had to de-invest, and the Dewars brand as well, as the distillery behind the Aberfeldy, as the major lead distillery, uh, had to be deinvested and they were bought by Bacardi. And now Bacardi, uh, as one of the biggest rum uh, distributing or selling companies in the US and the biggest whiskey dis uh, single brand in the US, are under one yeah, uh, leadership and there are synergies. Uh, where you can earn extra money from. So this is it. Uh, and, well, beside all these mega, 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 there are a, a few jewels like this bottle um, <clears throat> of which we are very happy to have them. Wonderful dark color, 40% ABV, and I'm afraid it's colored. Yes, sorry. Um, this depends typically on the amount of uh, the different ingredients in this blended whiskey mixture to have a consistent color they add color. This whiskey will include a lot of aged whiskey, so there is really no need to color it, but <clears throat> they are typically adding a little bit to have a consistent color over time. Otherwise, people would say, Ooh, this one is lighter. No, no, give me the other bottle, which is darker, or the other way around, which typically does not happen. You buy whiskey because it's a brown spirit, so aged in wood. This is a very light one. It's elegant. It's... silky. Mellow, a little fruit. <clears throat> Some dark fruits, sultanins, resins. A little wine is coming up. And in the back, very far in the back, there's the distillery character of one of those distilleries which give their malt whiskies in this blend. And there's some candied orange peel. And a little alcoholic note. And well, this shows how 
light and smooth this whiskey is that the 40% ABV is is able to come through. There's a faint hint of smoke and some caramel coming up. smiled on your tongue but as soon as you swallow intense a little spiciness <clears throat> some oakiness coming up still vanilla luscious mm -hmm. nuts and honey how did they say it honeyed rich toffee velvet velvet check honeyed check rich toffee Mm, not yet. Vanilla and some caramel. Perhaps that's the, the toffee, but a toffee is sweeter for me than a caramel. And this sweetness no, it's more fruity than sweet and some spiciness from the oak. Some leather coming up. And here is the toffee. You have to keep a certain distance from your nose so that the other lighter and darker Aromas are not able to reach your nose, but the the toffee is coming. Yeah. <coughs> A very elegant, complex, smooth, silky whiskey, which lacks yes lacks the intensity of a single malt but brings a complexity and a silkiness of a blended whiskey if i compare this one to the 21 year old from Aberfeldy, the lead uh, malt distillery behind this blend then the 21 years old is much more intense and much more yeah spiciness a little uh, smokiness and so, but this one is more elegant so if we have a <laughs> an old relative not really fond of whiskey but fond of spirits give this one to him this will well will bring whiskey to shine Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned, there's more to come and as always feel free to share your views about this bottle with others in our community.